Hello everybody and welcome to a new video for the channel. I'm Cross Legends and today we are going to be first off reacting to Kafka's character demo and uh, catching up with the star, uh, which is just a tutorial basically. It will it will be the first catching up with the stars that I watch. Uh, or reactive for that matter. I've been wanting to react to those for a while now. So it's cool that this is going to be the first one. They have a similar uh, format as the special live streams, special programs for Stario. So it should be fun. I do enjoy Albert. And yeah, after that, I'm going to be trying to pull for Kafka. With 20 pulls I have. Uh, so yeah. Let's just get this started. We don't have a lot of time. So yeah. 3, 2, 1. Let's get started. Put on the earphones. Okay. Let's. Get started. Start. All units, target spotting, target spotting! Stick to the plan, shoot on sight! I repeat, shoot on sight! <laughs> Don't be afraid. Listen to me. Wasn't it you who invited me? Yep. Well, that's the stuff. The up. silk is too fragile to be a threat. Unless you're more fragile than the silk. Case in point. For some reason, I wasn't expecting Kafka to straight up. Let's go on a murder spree. Well, I guess I should have. Oh, destiny has thousands of faces. Why does it choose to wear this one? Stealing a glance? Now then, where are you hiding? Yes, <laughs> in the name of the destiny. Sooner or later, sure. the curtain has to fall. As for the ending, want to take a guess? Heads or tails? What's your answer? I have to imagine that there had to have been a reason for that. That it wasn't just for shits and giggles. Oh, definitely. Yeah. Definitely a dirty job. Now, go watch the catching up with the stars. Oh! Just now, the one for Luca got released. I don't think he's gonna have a trailer. So I guess I'm gonna be adding that one as well. I don't have too much time, but I think I can add, add it up to the playlist. So, to the Today's agenda. featured star is brave, elegant, and fashionable. But that doesn't make up for being a uh, morally bankrupt fugitive now, does it? She uses her spirit whisper to ensnare hearts and minds, trapping her prey in a web of lies and deceit. And having courageously escaped that web myself firsthand? <laughs> I should know. We're talking about none other than Kafka, the most dangerous member of the Stellaron Hunters. Well, in today's oh, episode, Himiko. we've invited Miss Himiko, a follower of Akadema, who is rumored to have had several encounters with Kafka. Huh. 
Hi everyone, I'm Himiko. As for my encounters with Kafka, they were little more than footnotes to a bigger journey. Ah, <sighs> only valiant heroes like you or me <laughs> could ever cross paths with Kafka and come out on top. Ah, <laughs> they told me you had a good sense of humor, Albert. Oh, you're too kind. <laughs> now, according to her wanted notice, Kafka is a lightning-type character following the path of Nihility. She's a stranger to fear, but has no trouble scaring the heck out of her enemies. Her basic attack deals lightning damage to a single target. Yeah. When using her skill, Kafka wields her sword and deals increased lightning damage to a single target, as well as a set amount of damage to adjacent enemies. If you know what? Let's uh, put this video at uh, 1.25. I don't think that would be too bad. And also, taking into consideration that the anim animations uh, often seem as if they were in the slow motion. Target is afflicted Most with DOT. Play the game they immediately the receive additional damage as a set percentage of their current active DOT. As if her spirit whisper wasn't enough, Kafk is also highly skilled with various weapons. If she feels the need for weapons, perhaps her spirit whisper isn't so great after all. Speaking of weapons, Miss Himiko, do you smell gunpowder? <laughs> Explosives are my specialty. <laughs> when an ally uses a basic attack on an enemy, Kafka launches a follow-up attack and deals lightning damage to the target. There is also a chance of inflicting the target with the same shock effect as their ultimate for a set number of turns, which can only be triggered once per turn. During exploration, use Kafka's technique, Mercy is Not Forgiveness, to instantly attack all enemies within a... Also, I forgot to say, I really like the outfit for the guards on the Kafka thing. Set range. After entering battle, she deals lightning damage to all enemies, and there's a chance that all enemies will become shocked for a set number of turns. When Kafka unleashes her ultimate, she dispatches her enemies with the graceful Twilight Trill. In addition to dealing lightning damage to all enemies, there's also a chance of inflicting enemies with shock, as well as immediately dealing additional damage to currently shocked targets. Shock lasts for a set number of turns. After unlocking a specific trace, when Kafka unleashes her ultimate, she immediately deals damage to enemies by triggering their current active DOT. For wanted criminals, dealing with unexpected battles is just part of their routine. An ally makes the first move, launching a basic attack and inflicting wind shear on the enemy. With her talented effect, Kafka swiftly delivers a follow-up attack, inflicting the enemy with shock. She then uses her skill, dealing damage in addition to triggering both wind shear and shock damage. A classic Kafka tactic, leveraging the DOT effects that her allies inflict on the enemy. Before they can react, Kafka unleashes her ultimate on the enemy, striking them in a web of flying bullets and lightning strikes. <laughs> Ooh, complete annihilation. All those flashy moves seem like overkill if you ask me. Hmm, Miss Himiko, mind if I ask what the beef is between you two? Why take yeah. kindly to someone who holds up your train journey? Not the whole story? Well, there's the unethically implanting Stellaron, manipulating people's lives, speaking in riddles. Oh, all that unwarranted attention. That sounds terrible, right, Trailblazers? Well. Ah, uh, sorry. I, I opened the game. Let me... Let me turn the sound off for that one. Okay, now let's add up Mika's trailer. Well, not trailer. I wonder if he's really not gonna have a trailer. I, I, I have noticed that there has been some. Well, there has been like a lack of trailers going on. Wait, got to, got to like. Okay. Now, Luca. Ladies and gentlemen. Prosthetic punches per game. Wow, well play. Okay. Let's do this. We gotta remember that once this is reaction is done, we'll stop the recording and start a new one. Just the police. 
Good yeah. Welcome to Keeping Up with Star Rail and the finals of the Boulder Town Fight Club's 1,759th Fighting King Challenge Tournament. Our next competition is hotly anticipated, with town folk radically falling over each other to get a view of the action for everyone's favorite redheaded fighting machine. Please welcome the 25-time winner, Malt Hammerville Warrior and peerless Boulder Champion, Luca. Before the fight begins, let's take another look at what makes Luca the crowd favorite. Luca is a oh. physical type character following the path of the Hillity. Unexpected reason. La 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 la. Luca's basic attack, direct punch, deals physical damage to a single target. Consume Let a me skill go point back, and use okay. his skill. Character following the path. Okay. Before the fight begins, let's take another look at what makes Luca the crowd favorite. Luca is a physical type character following the path of Nihility, whose iconic mechanical arm is a nightmare for his enemies. If you're thinking about causing trouble in the underworld, <laughs> I suggest you think twice. Luca's basic attack, direct punch, deals physical damage to yep. a single target. Consume a skill point and use his skill. I mean, he has red bits. hair and deal physical eyes. damage to a single target uh, with a high chance of inflicting bleed for a set number of turns. Oh, a skill for my character. When combat begins, Luca possesses one stack of fighting will. After launching his base. Yep, that's uh, pretty cool looking. Basic attack or skill, he obtains an additional stack up to a maximum of four. When Luca possesses two or more stacks, his basic attack is enhanced from direct punch to sky shatter fist. Four hit combo, consisting of three direct punches and a rising uppercut, all of which deal physical damage to a single target. Under the effect of his talent, if Luca's rising uppercut hits an enemy already inflicted with bleed, the enemy sustains additional damage as a set percentage of the erase does not apply to additional hits. During exploration, use Luca's technique Anticipator to immediately attack an enemy. After entering battle, Luca obtains Fighting Will and deals physical damage oh, to you a random can. enemy. There's a chance of inflicting the same split effect as his skill on the enemy. When Luca unleashes his ultimate, Coup de Gras, his fiery spirit sets the battlefield alight. In addition to obtaining okay. fighting will, there's a high chance that the enemy target receives increased damage yep. for a set number of turns. Cool Luka will then deal it's physical the damage to the same target. target. And it's time to get ringside. And these two are fresh out of bubble gum. Let the fight commence. Luca gains fighting will as he steps into the ring. He strikes first without hesitation, dealing damage to his opponent using his skill and inflicting them with bleed, all while obtaining another stack of fighting will. But his opponent doesn't take that line down, responding with a fierce counterattack. Luca receives the counterattack with two stacks of fighting will, oh. returning the favor with an enhanced basic attack, triggering his opponent's bleed damage in the process. Uh, that's for speed! Is it over already? <laughs> Three cheers for the winner of the 1,759 fighting ship. Uh, hold on a second. It seems like the opponent's trainer wants a piece of the action. Ben, you okay this with this? Same model. Ooh, it looks like Luca's gesturing to the whole team, and he's on the ref to stay out of it. This is about to get... Woo! Luca unleashes a textbook ultimate. He inflicts his opponent with vulnerability and gains two stacks of fighting will. Against all odds, the other fighter is still on their feet and able to strike back. Luca uses his skill once again, inflicting damage and bleed in one fell swoop. His opponent springs into a counterattack, but he's fighting against the current. Luca unleashes... His enhanced basic attack. Scott Shatter Fist, delivering a hail of brutal punches to his opponent, already suffering from vulnerability. Oh. 
Okay. Point. His opponent springs into a counterattack, but he's fighting against the current. Luka unleashes his enhanced basic attack, Sky Shatter Fist, delivering a hail of brutal punches to his opponent, already suffering from vulnerability. Oh, uppercut! Luka triggers bleed damage. and sends his opponent hurtling into the canvas. <laughs> it's over. The warrior, the peerless champion, Victory Burns Red once again. A man whose strength yeah. lies not in the unfeeling cold uh, of his iron fist, already, but in the flaming warmth 20, of his fearless 24. heart. Put your hands together for yeah, Luca, I, champion really. of the 1,759th Fighting King Challenge. It's party time in Boulder Town tonight. <clears throat> a reminder to our younger viewers, these are professionally trained fighters. Go to your homework. No, actually, you know what? I'm just gonna uh, have it all together. The reaction and the police. The, the police session is not gonna last even the, not even ten minutes. So uh, yeah, let's just uh... yeah. What is what was the Okay, now let's do that bully session. <laughs> the show last too long. Okay, they only have 20 points. I guess we can try. Uh, I mean, it's not gonna, not gonna give me another. And I will re we already saw the tutorial. I don't really have much time left. Oh, whatever. Let's let's just. Uh, let's try the card. Let's uh, try to do this in less than a minute. Causes that an enemy we immediately trigger one extra time. I stuck one to a variety. Okay. I don't look happy to see it. Doesn't matter. There. I don't, I'm not gonna read anything. I'll have time Here to, to crash read. the party. Turn it up. Oh. <sighs> what else was the uh, target? <laughs> uh. May as well kill them all. Ready to Can't lose wait. yourself? What are you waiting for? To uh, betray my customers? Uh, oh. I charge extra. Yeah. Good time. Fine. Never last. Time to uh. say bye. Boom. We're just having fun. Relax. Say bye to breathing. We're just having fun. Huh? This song's for you. <laughs> Stand still. Okay. Yep. Pretty good. But I wanted to try a uh, lookout too. 
But I don't really think we have enough time. We only have two minutes to do the pool. But yeah, let's just get to that. <clears throat> okay. Let's begin. Three, two, one. Oh. One, two, three, go. Oh. Three, two, one. Go. Nope. One, two, three. One dead. Oh. No. Oh, fair ball. Not Luca. Oh well. That's great. Here we have sample. I don't have Luca. It will be nice if I. You know what? I don't normally do this. Well, I'm gonna do a tenth. Uh, the bottom is gonna be torn off in less than a minute. Yeah, that's what it measures. Three, two, one. Go. One. Well. Let's see if we at, le at least got Luca. One, two, three, four, five. Not good. <laughs> Please let this not be the only one. Forgot, I forgot the, the number. Oh, no. oh, well. That's why I don't do temples. What? Well, yeah. This is gonna be it for today. So. Nice. Before we go. Oh, this is my fourth constellation for Fairball. Nice. Okay, guys. So, thanks a lot for watching, guys. Don't forget to subscribe if you enjoy my content. Or give a like, that would also help. Take care. And as always, adios.